Hi, this is Jonah with Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to take a look at the Account and Settings area on Square. So let's get started. Your business information on Square is highly important, and it's worth taking the time to take a look. And you can do this by going to the upper right hand corner, clicking on your business name, and then clicking on Account Settings. In this area, you will find different sections that help you to update your account, your business, and find additional accessories that can help your business. Let's take a look at a few different areas to help you get more comfortable. Under the account settings area, you can update things like your language or your business information as needed. By going to the bank accounts area, here you would fill out your banking information that enables Square Payments to directly deposit. If you choose not to use the Square Payment Processor, then you can actually leave this area blank. The email notifications enables you to uncheck the email notifications that you do not want to receive in your inbox. This definitely can help reduce the noise that you receive depending on the volume of business you conduct on Square. Under Authorized Representatives, this is what you would use if you're adding other people that need to act on your behalf with your Square account. Under Team Permissions, you can set the permissions for your team members who also use your Square. And if you want to promote Square, you can get up to $1,000 worth of free processing. This would only be enabled if you're truly using the Square payment processor directly. Now, under the Business section, you can take a look at some additional information for your business. For example, location. At any time you decide to update your location, this is where you would go to update that information or add additional locations for your business. The next key area would be pricing and subscription. You would only be enabling subscriptions depending on how you grow your business on Square. For example, with the online store, you can actually extend it by adding a custom domain, which would create a subscription here. Another area would be transfers. You can actually adjust your transfers from automatic or manual, depending on what you need for your business. Again, this is only if you use the Square Payment Processor. Under the Receipt area is where you can brand your receipts that are sent out to your customers by email or printed through a receipt printer. I highly recommend taking a moment and branding this so that you don't miss that opportunity. Now the Tax Invoice area would only show you tax invoices if you use the Square Payment Processor depending on your year end of business. The sales tax is where you would set up any sales tax that is required by your business for your local area to have. And this will be displayed on your receipts and invoices that you send out through your business. So be sure to set that up. The service charge area is where you would add additional service charges that your business will need available on checkout or while you're handling customers. Under the devices area is where you would find devices where you have added the Square point of sale. This way you can manage the different outlets for your business that has Square on it. Now under Square Secure, this has to deal with how the Square payment processor sees the risk level for your business. So the more business information you submit here, the more it can understand how you conduct your business as every business has a certain level of risk. So I highly recommend taking the time to submit information here even if you don't use the Square payment processor. The next area, Square Accessories, allows you to order Square card readers that you may need for your business. This really only directly pertains to if you're using the Square Payment Processor. Now, the marketing kit is nice, as, and you can order this as well in case you wanted to show to your customers what payment processor you are using for your business. And another accessory that you may take a look at is the new stand that enables a very seamless point of sale experience. Now with online sales channels, here you would connect to any online sales channels you are using for your business. Keep in mind not every sales channel will be beneficial to your business, so you may have to take a look at each one and evaluate it based on your needs. And some of them will also add a, an additional subscription charge to your Square account, so keep that in mind. So this concludes this lesson on the Square account and settings, and I'll see you in the next video.